So guys, I'll be sharing an estimate <coughs> of average cost of living in Portugal as a foreign student. But before then, I would like to appreciate my returning subscribers for your comments and likes. Thanks for your kind words and encouragement. They really mean a lot to me. And if you're seeing this video for the first time and you like the content, please kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the post notification and click all so that you will always see my videos whenever I upload. Thank you. Several aspiring and returning students of Portugal have been calling to make inquiries of an estimate cost of living in Portugal. So I thought it wise to make a video so that everyone would benefit from. Apparently, I looked at it in three angles. So I looked at the accommodation cost, the food cost, and also the transportation cost. I guess you all know that these three are very, very important as a foreign student. Accommodation in Portugal are in line with international average. So I considered two things while making this research. Number one, I know such a student will want a place where he or she would meet other international students like him. And the second one was such students who want to work and study at the same time. Yes, so I'm going to use a very city as an example. A student hall of residence is between 150 to 250 euros per month and to rent a room in a shared apartment is around 250 to 300 euros so like I said earlier on why I considered a single student that is not coming with his family so if you decide to rent an apartment or you decide to rent a hall always ask if the utility are included in the prices so like i said you know some students would want a comfortable apartment and we have also a t1 which is a bedroom flat that is a room and a sitting room apartment so that one it goes for for 400 to 500 euros per month so it depends on your pocket it depends on whichever you want it's left for you to decide so another thing i estimated is the food cost food is as important as accommodation because without food <laughs> then one can't function well and i think food is one of the cheapest commodity in portugal for your monthly food and groceries you will spend around 150 to 200 euros some of the cheapest supermarkets in portugal are jumbo continent lead and pingo Dose. you can also find affordable food at the university canteen where you get meal for around 2 to 3.5 euros and in some restaurants you can get meals for 7 euros and even more expensive but it won't cost more than 15 euros including drinks both in Braga, both in Aveiro, both in Porto, both in Lisbon food, food stuff is at least affordable for foreigners and every other person finally i considered transportation costs although most students usually get or uh, find accommodation close to the school environment but then we need transportation and the portuguese government have already um, made a subsidized rate for the student a one-way ticket for local transport is around two euros while a student transit cost between 20 to 23 euros per month so you can see the slash and in most city the metro travel cost around 25 euros per month for people like us who stays about 
some kilometers from the city center we use train and using the student transit pass which cost around 20 to 25 euros so you can see transportation system in portugal have been minimized for students so it depends on your environment it depends where you're staying or where you are coming from so you can use the transportation system like i said earlier all these estimates depends on location or region where the student would be residing it could be lesser or higher but definitely it would not be 100 euros higher for the accommodation so guys for aspiring students coming to portugal sit down and estimate for yourself it's only you that can tell what's in your pocket so guys you think this video content is useful and interesting kindly like and share for others to benefit and if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget to press the post notification and also click on all so that you will always see my videos whenever i make upload thank you very much see you in my next video bye Ciao!